report, sir? Then Nate, we need the carrier's name. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. My name's John Watson. It's been two weeks since I moved to L.A. from film school, and I have spent almost all of that time trying to figure out my new roommate. I found it! He's a nice enough guy. He just has some really weird habits and ideas, like the 2 a.m. phone calls he gets, or, or the file folders he's always reading that look like police documents. Oh, and this morning, uh, we were watching Danny Potts Men 3, and he just, he went on a rant about how the prop wand switched between movies because, get this, the prop master was black bagged when he demanded higher residual checks. As you can imagine, I was skeptical. That's crazy. I mean, where did you even hear something like that? I used to work for an agency that deals in Tinseltown crimes. The Hollywood Bureau of Investigation, or the HBI. <laughs> You're pulling my leg. Piracy, corruption, murder. Hollywood doesn't want the feds messing around out here. So, they created their own agency. Now, I love a good gag as much as the next guy, but this is ridiculous. Hollywood can't just circumvent the federal government. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> the HBI. I'm so glad I caught you. The Bureau's in trouble. We need your help. John, this is Agent Dan Gregson of the HBI. Nice to meet you. Scott, a few hours ago, a carrier for a film of vital importance was attacked. The film was stolen. What film was it? Sorry, that's classified. Don't be ridiculous, Dan. It's the unilluminated vigilante ascends. How could you possibly... Never mind. Uh, Scott, you can't just... Details of the case, please. The film was in a case that was handcuffed to the bearer. There were several carriers, each with an identical case and cuffs. The pirates must have known who had the case. None of the decoys were attacked. Encryption on the disk, but we estimate it'll be online in less than 16 hours. Scott, you've been on this kind of case before, the uh, Cavaliers of the Philippines fiasco a few years ago. We're willing to try your more unorthodox methods again. I believe you still have an agent at the Bureau who was on the Cavaliers case, Dan. We already have Agent Lestrade on the case. Oh, excellent! But if you've already got AG on the case, then you really don't need me. I'm sure he's getting along splendidly. Look, I know you and AJ aren't on the best of terms, but I'm asking you to set it aside today and help us recover what will undoubtedly be the highest grossing film of all time. Scott, why wouldn't you do that? I mean, what else are you doing today? You're gonna sit around and watch Danny Potsman 4? What? No! It's as bad as the third one. Well, then... Fair point. Come on, Gregson, let's go. <laughs> you too, John. Wait, you want me to go with you? Yes, if you're not doing anything else. You watching Danny Potts before? Well, no, but, um... Come on! All right, then.
How do you know what Filmy was talking about? Attention to detail is an important tool for prop masters. You remember when we first met? You were surprised I knew where you came from? Yeah, yeah I do. Um, do you have a watch? Yeah, of course. Well, it's a Time Pro, 2008 model. Let's see, you got the, the corner of Adams and Liberty in Boston. Extraordinary. So what about the film? There are six blockbusters coming to theaters, and the unilluminated vigilante of sins is the most highly anticipated. Naturally, that's the one the HBI would consider of vital importance. Hmm.